go. Josh wanted eggs for breakfast, so that's what we're doing. We're having a lot of eggs. Welcome to another edition of Alicia's Delicious Dishes. That was hard to say. Not because of the alliteration, it's just because the dishes are fucking rank. Anyway, we've got to start off with a bit of a flex, haven't we, Lishy? Everyone knows how expensive eggs are over in the States at the minute. But it's not a problem for the doctor dozen because she can have 30, yes, 30 eggs for breakfast for 14 people. The woman takes every opportunity she can to flex her cash, even if it's just about eggs. I'll work on that. You probably will work on that, won't you? Because I know you watch the channels, even if you say you don't. This here is one of her newest fine dining recipes. It's an egg inside a pancake. Yeah, who'd have thought it? An egg inside a pancake? It's not like there's already egg in the mixture. This has got to be one of the weirdest and most pointless things I've ever seen. You're putting an egg inside an egg? I know you're obsessed with showing off your eggs, but fucking hell, Alicia. You've got to stop with this excessiveness. Right, everybody be quiet because the kids are still in bed. That's everybody except Alicia, who has to bang the carrots into the fucking lunch boxes. You know, the plastic lunch boxes, which they're supposed to be reusable, but she keeps buying them every fucking week. It doesn't matter that she's battering the carrots, though, because the kids don't eat them. It's just for show, that. This is not really to do with the food, but have you ever heard anybody so noisy whilst they're cooking? She's the angriest chef I've ever seen. She's worse than Gordon Ramsay. Slamming and chucking things around. Now, I don't know what she's making here. Let's have a look. It looks like hot dog buns. But she's making sure that she's, you know, rubbing her fingers all inside them and sticking her dirty nails in it. You've got to build their immune systems up, haven't you, Lishy, by sticking as many germs in the sandwiches as you can. You can look all you want in that cooking contraption you've got there but it's not going to make it look any better an egg inside a giant pancake she's looking at it like it's going to magically turn into a michelin starred breakfast hey look they're ready now i can't wait to see what they look like let's put them on this dirty tray yeah they look as shit as i thought they would and look at the size of them the four-year-old's not gonna eat that now we're putting half a litre of oil on the tray to cook some more. Yeah, use a jug. You don't need a ladle or anything like that. Oh my fucking God. Look at the batter. It's lumpier than herpes. But at least she's presented it nicely with one strawberry each chopped in half and two little sausages. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? So are they having like a cold hot dog for dinner at school or does the school heat it up or what? Oh, grill nine. Why do they need five different types of steak? And yeah, watermelon, just what I like with my steak. Right, this is a different day of indulgence. And to start with, she's got breakfast donuts, of course. Because you got to start the day with a kilogram of sugar. Especially if you've got ADHD. Then they add hot pockets for dinner. And then this here is the snackety board. Not gonna lie, those cheesesteaks do look good, but fucking hell, is she feeding 5,000 people or what? And who has chili for a snack? Ah, uh, maybe the dog ate too much of the snacks because he's been sick in a bowl. That chicken noodle soup looked fucking ringing. Like water with a couple of carrots and six noodles thrown in. Oh, and now the cat's been sick in a cup. Lovely. She has to film everything, doesn't she? And they definitely need more sugar. Right, let's move on to another day. Of course, the banana muffins, they look quite good, actually. Take note of that bowl of fruit, because I want to show you something in a minute. Oh, she's really sending them to school with stale tacos. That's just horrible. This is what I wanted to show you. So she's decided that she can't fit these donuts on the snackety board. So she's getting something else to fill in the space. There. That's the leftovers from breakfast. So not only did they have a, a bowl the size of baby bear's bowl from Goldilocks and the Three Bears of fruit to share between 14 of them. There was enough fruit left over to fill the snackety board. And no doubt they didn't eat it from the snackety board either. Let's see if she has them tomorrow. 
I mean, I'm glad she's reusing the fruit, but it's pointless keep putting the fruit out if no one's going to eat it. And for no reason whatsoever, I've put this clip in at the end to show the Doherty Dozen's well-known series of Willie Waffle. Yeah, I hadn't heard of it before either. But he does give a chance to flex again that she's got like 14 waffle makers. Who the fuck has 14 waffle makers? Who has more than two waffle makers? And what sort of numpty mother lets a kid put sweets in it, like Swedish fish, and then acted surprised when he broke the waffle maker? She does laughed about it though, because she doesn't give a shit. I do wonder where they store them though. Maybe in the bedroom with a white claw. Cheers, Alicia. Thanks for watching Alicia's Delicious Dishes.